Hey guys, it's uh, 123RC123 again. Uh, this is a bit of a sequel to my last video, which is the Diablo 3 emulator server creation thing. Whatever. Um, and a lot of people have, have been having a lot of errors. Um, and it's just so I don't have to repeat the same explanations over and over again. This video is pretty much a troubleshooting video, like a fix video. Uh, so I'm going to outline a lot of common errors in this video and their solutions. And if you still get errors or something didn't work or whatever, then I can't really help you because um, I'm fairly experienced with this kind of thing. So when I do it, it almost always works because I know exactly the steps I have to do. I know how to do them. But it might not be the same for, for people who don't have that much experience. Um, so... Right, if, um, if your stuff still isn't working after, the, after you've seen this video, then... Um, I would suggest going over to the Mueg website and asking someone there on their forums or looking at their wiki. They have a wiki as well. So their website will be in the description. It's also in the description of the uh, setup video. Um, so I'm going to cover compilation errors first. So a compilation error would happen in C Sharp Express when you're opening libmu.net or Mueg. So first things first, when you go into your SRC folder, you have to compile libmu.net first. So you have to open the libmu.net file in Visual C Sharp Express first before you do Mueg. Um, see this is what happens if you open Mueg-VS 2010 in C Sharp Express first and compile it before you compile libmu.net. You'll get build errors and that, that doesn't work because it doesn't compile or anything like that, right? So to fix that you have to compile libmu.net first. So you open up the libmu.net file in C Sharp Express and compile that, you push the play button and this is another thing that some people have been bothering me about this error. This error does not matter, this is okay, I'm not going to go into details about why it happens or anything but everything's already compiled this is just an error telling you that you can't um, start LibMunet up because it's not actually a program, it's a library once again, I'm not going to go into details about that because it's programming stuff. Um, but Mueg depends on libmu.net, so without libmu.net, Mueg cannot compile. So if we open up Mueg-VS 2010 again in Visual C Sharp Express and compile it again, we won't get any errors at all. Push the play button. There you go. You got your black window. You're good. So I'm just going to close all that, and what's next? Um, right, the target extension. So I already have a shortcut here for um, for Diablo 3. That's the EXC, not the launcher, once again, as I stated in the original video. So right-click your shortcut, go to Properties, and here, uh, after the last quotation mark in the target field, that's where your target extension should go, just like I have here. Um, but what some people have done is they didn't include a space after that last quotation. You have to have a space after the last quotation mark in the in the target field. See, I got one right here. Um, if you take that out, then you cannot apply the target extension. You'll get this error. So you have to have a space between that last quotation mark and the first dash of your target extension. See, then you can apply, click OK, and everything's good. Um, failure at installing SQL Lite. Right, so if you get, when you're trying to install SQL Lite and you get this error uh, in a little message box, failed to install Microsoft C++ Runtime, VC, whatever, um, then it could actually be a couple things. Uh, the first thing is you might not have Visual C++ 2010 installed, I'll put a link in the description, or you might not have uh, Visual Studio SP1 installed, the SP1 patch. Uh, so I'll put a link to that as well in the description. Um, there's a link to the SP1 patch also in the description of the last video. Um, and for the SP1 patch, once you try to install it, uh, for Vista and 7 users, you might get an error that says uh, something about compatibility mode. I forget what it is exactly, but the way you fix that is you right-click the installation file, the SP1 patch installation file, and click run as administrator that should completely fix it just just to show you what i mean i'll give you, i'll show you an example with the diablo 3 shortcut you right click and just click run as administrator it's right right here in the menu um right so that's that 
Uh, what's next? Alright, MPQ problems. Okay, so if you have any red text at all, anything that is red inside your MUEG window, that's the big, nice console black window looking thing that you get when you start up the MUEG EXE, then you have MPQ errors, most likely. If you haven't installed SQLite, do it now because SQLite causes a lot of problems if you don't have it installed. Um, but if you do have it installed, and SQLite's fine, and you didn't get any errors while installing and whatnot, and you still get red text, then you need to download new MPQs. Uh, it means your MPQs are corrupted. Um, so you just download new ones. Uh, you can do that off the MUEG wiki. So I'm just going to do that right now. Go to www.mueg.org. I'll put a link in the description to their wiki. So I'm just going to click the wiki link there. And here we go. Um, so, compiling. Yeah, that's the link we want. Okay, so right here we have lists of a bunch of MPQs. These are all off the official Blizzard website, so they're all safe, don't worry. And there are two types of MPQs. There's an update MPQ and there is a main MPQ. So the main MPQs are the three bottom ones here that at the end here do not have a number in them. So it's base-win.mpq, client-data.mpq, and core-data.mpq. So those are the main ones. You have to get all three of those, but you only need to get your one latest update mpq. So here, we can see that there is a version number here. That's 8101. Sound familiar? That's because that's the installation number of the game that you're supposed to have. So if you have Diablo 3 updated to version 8101, then you're gold. You need to download this one here. This last one here, that's 8101. Um, for people watching this in the future who are using this with new game versions and new versions of MUEG, it's the same thing, just get the latest update, uh, update thing. So you have to download this, the latest one, just the latest one, that's it, and the three main ones. Uh, and there is a difference, so please be able to differentiate the all the MPQs because they go in different folders. So once again, this is an update MPQ, the one with the version number at the end, and these are whoops, these are the main MPQs, the ones without the version of, uh, the version numbers at the end. Okay, so once you have those downloaded, go into your extracted MUEG folder wherever it is and to SRC into MUEG into assets into MPQ oh whoops no I messed up okay disregard that you go into your MUEG extracted folder then into SRC then to MUEG then into bin then into debug then into assets then into MPQ and your three main MPQs go here, see? And you replace the old ones. See here, there's the three main ones right here. There's base-win.mpq, client-data.mpq, core-data.mpq. So you replace those three with the ones that you downloaded. And for the update MPQ, you put, you put that one in base. So you have a whole bunch here. Once again, replace the old ones. So it should be the latest one that you're replacing. That's d3-update-base-8101.mpq right now. If you're watching this video in the future and using this for future versions, it'll be a different version, obviously, but it's the same concept. All update MPQs that you download go in the base folder. So if there, after all that, if you still have red text in your, um, in your MUEG window, then I don't really know what to tell you. I'm not like a complete expert on MUEG. I just know how to set it up because I've got a lot of experience with private servers. Um, then I would suggest downloading all MPQ, update MPQs and putting them in the base folder. So back to the wiki here, download everything. And remember the three main ones do not go in the base folder. It's only the update ones. So if you still have red text after everything, then you download all the update MPQs, all the main ones, and you put them in their respective folders. So yeah, I think that's it. I hope that helped. Um, I know the, this video is kind of long, and I'm not the most exciting person to listen to, but um, that should help you out. And if it doesn't, if you still get a lot of errors, if something still goes wrong, you probably won't get an answer from me.
Um, I would suggest going onto the MUEG forums and asking them there, or doing some research on their wiki. Uh, there will be links to both in the description, uh, to the forums and the wiki. So yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe, I'd appreciate it. And you'll get updated, if you subscribe, you'll get updated on all the cool Diablo 3 private server stuff I'll have in store until the release. Um, yeah, so that's it.